So here we've got some images of different types of contemporary arts. We've got installation in the corner. You can see it's like a horse that's emerging. Um, and in the bottom, we've got dancers doing traditional dances and that all falls under contemporary art. So it comprises of modern art forms such as assemblage, collage, mixed media, conceptual art, installation, happenings and performance art, photography, video art and animation. So you also have things like theater and dance included in this, in this category. This group of activities also includes high tech disciplines like computer graphics, all those fancy CGI effects we see in our movies, they all fall into this category. And then an interesting fact, um, Munyaradi Matingo is a product of Zimbabwe. He studied graphic design at Harare Polytechnic, and he was the first black Zimbabwean to be invited to the prestigious New York Gallery to exhibit his contemporary paintings around 1999 to 2000. And that's a really big deal. New York is pretty much a center of art in the whole world. So if you make it to New York, you made it. All right, so an example we can also include of contemporary art in animation and illustration is Mickey Mouse. He was a, a character created by Walt Disney, and I don't know if you've seen uh, movies from Walt Disney, and they did a lot of the cartoons, the Disney princesses, and they keep on continuing to create more films even now, way after he's passed on. So he left quite an incredible legacy. So it all started with this guy, Mickey Mouse. Over here on the top left corner, we've got the initial sketches of how he drafted him up and what he looked like initially. And then the next image is of him, Walt Disney himself, sitting with his creation, Mickey Mouse. And then even this one, it's a screenshot. It's an image of, of, of Mickey Mouse, the illustration, the different views, we've got the front, back, and overhead. And this one was done in December on the 16th, 1930, way before a lot of our ancestors were born. And then we've got um, this now. This is what he now looks like now in today's day. All right. And then contemporary art. We've got 2D logo animated, animated logo for Lift Up Zimbabwe developed frame by frame over a number of weeks to come up with a seven second video and establish seamless movement. So I worked on this one, trying to follow the principles of that were laid out of illustration and animation. So the same way they used to create the il initial animated 2D movies is the same principles that were applied. So as you can see in the middle here, we've got a black and white sketch of different positions. I don't know if you can make it out, but usually when it comes to sketching, it's a lot of freehand, your hand has to be loose and things might not make sense to anyone else who sees it, but you are gathering the motion in your own arms. So it helps in building the illustrations or the artwork you'll be working on. And then beside it, we've got different phases. If you can see, there's a lady who's still standing and then she starts to lift her hands and then her hands come up and up. And then there's a lot of colors and a mix in there. So it might be difficult to see exactly what's going on. But in the end, she comes down and you can see a leg coming out, hands going up, and then a faded flag. So those are the sequences that was creating. And then when they're all lined up, this was the first section of the motion when she's still raising her hands of this illustration right underneath the black and white sketches. And then spread out, this is what it looks like, the different motions. So in between each image, if you can see between the green and the, and the orange, there'd probably be about 10 to 40 illustrations to show that different motion. So illustration to the illustration is quite interesting. You can create anything, although it, it is a bit consuming of your time. All right, moving on. And then this animation that's moving, it's a compilation of all those illustrations put together and played at the same speed. All right, and then the next one we've got is decorative arts and crafts. As you can see, I don't know if anyone can identify the objects on the screen right now. They can all be found locally. <laughs> That's the exciting part. 
and you can also make them yourselves. Yes, thank you, Toana. It is a hurry. Everyone's getting this right. This is awesome. Okay, so decorative arts and crafts. In addition, the general category of visual arts encompasses a number of decorative arts disciplines and crafts, including ceramics and studio pottery, mosaic art, mobiles, tapestry, glass art, including stained glass and others. So at the bottom, I'm sure you can all see there is some beautiful beadwork that's made locally, and this falls under decorative arts and crafts. This is a very, um, it's very beautiful. You can send it off as a gift. You can buy it for somebody you like, or even for yourself. And they've got so many different designs and styles, and some actually can make them themselves. So it's something you can also consider. And then, sorry about that. And then we've got a beautiful basket hand woven receiving. And then the next one, we've got uh, stained glass. You can find it in most actually cathedrals. You might find glass windows with beautiful decorations and beautiful colors. That's what we call stained glass art. And then next to it, we've got our ceramics and pottery. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of these around. Um, there's a lot of local artists will be doing in the, in, the, in the street and even some in shops, um, but these are clay pots, they're beautiful and they're very strong and sturdy. And then at the top, we've got uh, some beautiful Zimbabwean made batik. And then moving on. 